How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about Prague. I'm getting those messages. Dre, what is the update on Prague? Have you seen the pullback? It looks like it's making a recovery. You know what? We'll talk about it in this video. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're gonna go over is the technical analysis. We're gonna be taking a look at the overall price action. We wanna know support, we wanna know resistance, we wanna know what it looks like in the bearish case scenario and as well as in the bullish case scenario. And then we're gonna go on Fintel taking a look at the short interest information. The reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know the buying and the selling behavior on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for Prague. Let's see how it performed on Friday. So it ended up closing at $1.69, being up 4.97%. On the low, it tested $1.51, and then on the high, testing $1.72. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 11.852 million shares, and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 10.135. 5 million shares. So we did have above average volume on the day and this contributed to the strength in Prague stock. Now, when we take a look at our daily chart, you can see from the RSI down below, it is at 33.36. And then when we take a look at our moving averages here in the chart, we are below the 50 day, the 200 day, the 100 day, and as well as the 21 day EMA. So what you can clearly see, Prague is in a bear market. So the first point that I want to bring to your attention ended up of testing a dollar and 51 cents and we can see this has been an area of support in the past back in October so if I was going to be going in for a swing trade opportunity here I'd want to set up a stop right here around one dollar and 44 cents and then seeing if I can get an entry in the low dollar 50 range if we decided to pull back and so on and then I'd want to ride that momentum up and seeing if we can get past one dollar and 87 cents if we are able to do that that's where I look forward to seeing that move going to two dollars and then essentially getting to the 21 day EMA at two dollars and ten cents again this is just a strategy that I would use I'm not recommending or telling you guys to actually do this as far as for the bearish case scenario if Prague started to pull back even further we could start seeing some levels where you want to see if it's going to be able to hold up right here around a dollar 36 and if it does break through a dollar 36 then we could start visiting levels right here around one dollar and twenty cents again if you believe in the long-term prospects you might see this as an opportunity to add but of course if you're going in this in regards to a swing trade that's why I gave you guys an area in regards to a stop loss and having it around one dollar and forty four cents and then let's see if we can ride that momentum up so now let's go look over the short interest information so we're gonna take a look at the short interest information for Prague so for the dark pool short volume ratio it is at forty seven Seven point eight zero percent and then for the dark pool short volume it is just over 2.98 million shares scrolling down further on the page a short shares availability is at 850,000 updated 17 minutes ago and then for the short bar fee rate it is at 14.64 percent when we take a look at the history of the short volume ratio we can see for the close of the 13th it's at 47.95 and then for the close of the 14th which was a Friday that just passed is at 47.80 so fairly consistent and what this tells us prog does have short squeeze potential so you want to keep this one on your watch list and make sure you have a game plan before you jump into this stock so now let's go into the order flow distribution now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for prog so we can see here on the inflow it's at 3629 and then on the outflow it's at 3028 so we'll was an inflow day. Taking a look at the breakdown on the large, it was 1,362. On the medium, it was 1,701. And then on the small, it was 566. Taking a look at the outflow side on the large, it was 569. 
on the medium it was 1861 and then on the small it was 598 taking a look at the large scale orders in the last five days you can see for january the 14th so the friday that just passed it being that inflow at 792.62 two days prior were outflows and then the two days prior to that we ended up having inflows most directly to be january the 10th and as well as january the 11th when we analyze the numbers even further for the small scale orders that tend to represent the retail side we had more selling than we had buying and then when we take a look at what happened on the medium we had more selling than we had buying but when we take a look at the large we had more buying than we had selling and this could potentially represent institutions and funds keep a close eye on it. And then when we take a look at the turnover ratio, it was at 7.24%. No surprise there, there's a lot of traders that are inside of Prague, there's a lot of liquidity, and also the stock has been on a downtrend, so there was a lot of pressure in regards to selling. But one thing also to understand, if you are inside of this play, have a strategy. It has pulled back quite a bit and where it's at right now, it did bounce off support. So you want to make sure if you are going to be in it, that you have some sort of an idea where you want to take profits, where you want to have your stop loss. And also on top of that, whether you're going to be adding to your position, if it starts gaining more momentum. So let's go into the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details as well. So for my final thoughts for Prog stock, we could see on the Friday, it held support at $1.51. So if I was going to be jumping into this play, I'd have my stop loss loss at around $1.44. The reason being is you want to make sure that you manage your overall risk. And we could see this stock could pull back all the way to $1.36 and show even further weakness from there. We also have to understand the fact when we took a look at the order flow distribution, we see that the large scale orders did come in on the Friday. So this is why I'm saying we can't have some momentum coming through this stock. And I'd want to see a move for Prague going back to the $2 level. I feel this will be very essential because if it's able to do that I want to see that momentum actually continue also when we took a look at the short interest information it does continue to have short squeeze potential so with that in mind if we have buying pressure and there's more volume coming into this stock this is where we could see that upside it is very crucial the moment you have volume dying down and you have people who are selling this benefits short sellers so this is why as far as the trend that Prague is in yes it has been on quite the down trend but we have to understand will that support hold at 151 and for all of my long-term investors out there if you're seeing prog dip this is the opportunity for you to add to your position because if you do have a sizable amount of money into the play i'm pretty sure you've been doing your homework and you're doing your due diligence and if you haven't done that already you need to get to it right now stop putting money in stocks when you don't know nothing about the company you're going to be holding this for at least a year to two years then you need to have some sort of an idea in regards to its valuation what the company does to make money and how they're going to increase shareholder value this is very important if you're going to be taking a long-term investment and i want to make sure you really keep that stuck in your mind for year 2022 i get a lot of messages when people will tell me hey i've been buying the dip on the stock so i'm like hey what is the company about and then it'll be like uh, I don't know. And I'm like, that is not the way to go about doing it. All right. I know you guys are trying to see a return on your investment, but I feel it is very important. You know, as much as you need to know before you actually take that investment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see how Prog performs for the coming week.